healthy leaders know you don't have to be perfect. You can be real and authentic. But sometimes even then, it's hard. You want to be accepted. You want to be liked. You're afraid you can't measure up. And so you step back from holding others accountable. Maybe you don't clarify. That's step one. Maybe you don't connect with people because that's hard for you to connect with people. Maybe you don't collaborate because you're afraid. And so as you walk your way through and think about accountability, the issue really is courage. It's courage. In every area of leadership, we need courage because we know what the right thing to do is. When I met Lee about 15 years ago, little did I know the impact and influence that he would have on both my professional and personal life. I'd heard a couple of times about this Vietnam prisoner of war who was, had an inspirational story and was a great speaker. I soon came to realize that Lee had a lot more to share than that. The opportunity to learn never stops if you're a leader who truly desires to grow and to help other people grow, develop and succeed as well. Lee has channeled his passion for developing these types of leaders and teams by way of his own personal experiences. We are old enough to remember the Vietnam War and old enough to have lost friends in that war. And I think we have a real special appreciation for the sacrifice that Lee made and for the lessons that he so clearly learned in that setting. We know what's right. 99.9% .9 of the time we know what's right. If we go from our laws, our ethical practices, our professional policies, our business, all that stuff, our mom and dad taught us, our church taught us, school taught us, we know what to do is right. The challenge is to have the courage to do it.